Explanations of Forgetting, Retrieval Failure Retrieval failure is where information is available in long-term memory but is inaccessible and so cannot be recalled because of the absence of appropriate cues. Types of cues that have been studied by psychologists include context, state and organization. Tulving and Thompson, 1973, proposed the encoding specificity principle. This is the idea that memory is most effective if information that was present at encoding is also present during recall. When we store a new memory we also store information about the situation in which we learned it, and these are known as retrieval cues. When we come into the same situation again, these retrieval cues can trigger the memory of the situation. The encoding specificity principle that states cues don't have to be exactly right, but if it's closer to the original item it will be more useful. Retrieval cues can be Contextual This refers to external cues in the environment, such as a smell or the location. Evidence indicates that retrieval is more likely when the context at encoding matches the context at retrieval. Godin and Badillet 1975, investigated context-dependent learning. In their study, they recruited scuba divers and arranged for them to learn a list of words on land or underwater. The divers were then tested either on land or underwater. The results revealed the highest recall when the initial context matched the recall environment, for example a diver would do better if they learned and were tested on land. Another example of context-dependent learning is a study by Abernathy, 1940. She arranged for students to be tested before and weekly during a course. Some were tested in the same room and by the same professor, meanwhile others were tested by different professors and in different places. Those tested by the same instructor in the same room performed best. She also found that superior students were affected the least by the changes and inferior students the most. State This refers to bodily cues inside of us, a particular physical state, such as fatigue, or emotional state, the state of being drunk, and other examples. The basic idea behind state-dependent retrieval is that memory will be best when a person's physical or psychological state is similar at encoding and retrieval. Goodwin, 1969, demonstrated state-dependent forgetting by asking male volunteers to learn a word list while either drunk, about three times the UK drink driving limit, or sober. Participants then recalled the list after 24 hours. Some were sober and others had to get drunk again. The results revealed that words were best recalled when people learnt and recalled in the same state, for example if someone learnt while drunk they had the best recall when drunk. However the best performance overall was when people learnt and recalled the words sober. Organization. Recall is improved if the organization gives a structure which provides triggers. For example being asked to remember words that have been put into categories. To demonstrate this, Tulving and Pearlstone, 1956, did an experiment where participants were given 48 words to learn. The words fit into 12 categories, for example, fruit, orange, apple and so on. They found that participants recalled 40% of words on average from a word list in the free recall condition. However, they were able to recall a greater amount, 60%, of words on average when given the category names as cues. All of these studies provide evidence that cues can be explicitly or implicitly coded at the time of learning.